Hey guys and welcome back to the big build. So today we're going to start putting this canal in. I mean canal, this canal lock in. That's our first job. Getting the height is the difficult bit. We do get there. Now the, initially I put the that this bit here is going to be the rest of the water. I put it out there but I'll, I'll adjust that slightly. It's not really going to do that. Trying to get the water. We want to get to the level of that lock, the bottom bit. There we go. So the water's in there for now. A little bit of paint just to sort of make it like it's within the water, I suppose. Does look a little wrong with the grass growing inside. Right, so this is the uh, invisible portal. So we'll put one either end. And then we attach uh, some track. Just like the uh, bus route, we use the uh, invisible track. Portals then will become invisible as well, the, uh, the track of that. Just like with the stations, it just uh, copies what the uh, track does. Now getting these heights was difficult. And of course the portal does want to move. I think possibly I'd let the lock the layer down. We get that in the end, we get the high in the end. Really, it's a matter of putting the boat on it and then um, finding out what height it should be and then copying the rest of the, uh, the spline points to the same height. This water should be flat, so it should just be the same all the way through it. So once again, we adjust it all through. Then we'll give it some trap markers and we'll put some of the direction markers on there. And uh, you'll see me put some speed marks on there as well because it's remember it's a train. It does actually, when we get it running, try and run at the same speed as a normal train, so I have to slow it down. So we're going to get to stop there, then get the gates to open. So we have to put a marker just before the, uh, the lock. We have to put one in the lock to get to stop in there, and then we get one at the end here. So here we go, we start putting, putting down track markers. Do I? Yeah, so we Do you want to put one in there? So we're going to start from the other end, just put one way in for now. And we want to put one just before. Just there. So we want to to stop here, open the lock gates. Here we go, it's an input table. Now it works just like a turntable. We called it the uh, CP. We've got two, um, we've got an entrance and exit, so it's just two uh, um, turns. So for this, as you can see, you press new. We had a vehicle, we can choose a, a boat, obviously. Add driver, it doesn't matter really which one you do. And then just like any session, you add uh, what you want it to do. You, you tell it to navigate to that track marker before the train, before the uh, lock, sorry. You tell it to stop. You tell it to open the lock doors. You tell it to go into the lock and stop. And you tell it to the uh, lock to um, change height. And then you tell it to go to the portal at the other end. And I get 
that right? I'm pretty sure I missed one out there. Right, so a little bit more adjusting is going to be needed. Now I was quite chuffed that this, it, this canal lock works automatically. I was a little worried that it wouldn't. Right, as you can see, the uh, heights I did earlier not quite right. This is where I start adjusting the uh, height there. You have to do this all the way along, unfortunately. <laughs> I won't force you to watch all that, but uh, just so you get the idea. Move to the table, that's it. So stop one from stop zero. We probably need to put another canal boat in there to return it to um, zero after going to one. The, uh, the turntable there, the, the lock. At the moment it only works for one boat and I'm pretty sure that that's because we don't have it work, it, it, it doesn't return. Right, this is the speed limit I told you about earlier. I wasn't sure if I'd cut that in camera or not. But just before this, I'd done a test run, and uh, I think it was going 30 miles an hour. A little too fast. Well, here we go. You can actually see it, uh, what it looks like now. I think it looks nice. Just a couple of times to get the different angles and just cut it together. Well, I should have done this, paused it, moved it to an angle, done that, but yeah. That's what I normally do. I forgot. Now, the different embankments, don't, they make a difference, I think. Quite sure I cut that right together. <laughs> if it was in the correct position where I cut that, but well, it's, it's close enough. And I've just noticed that bridge is actually hovering. I need to let it down a bit. Pretend to walk over the bridge, of course. Another ding 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 ding, my wonderful computer. Right, so we've got it to stop. We told it to open these gates. Now, the only th little issue is you can see the water in it it looks like concrete so we're going to have to do something to cover up the edges of the water the actual water and this water now, it's not perfect going down but I think even so what we could also do is actually put it to the side in, in there you could technically put two in at once and that was sped up by the way Split that up. Well, that's it. That's uh, basically makes it to the portal here. So our next uh, episode, we'll be looking at all that scenery over there.
But that's it for now. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you press that ding dong bell button, as I say every time, it will tell you when I put new stuff on. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers and bye bye.